oriented direction. It will ensure the availability of highly trained manpower at the time of disasters. I compliment those who are behind this initiative and urge them to further expand capacity of such trained workforces. Indian Red Cross Society is known for its promotion of health-related causes like blood donation. The society should pride itself in fact that its 166 blood banks contribute almost 10% of our country's blood supply. 85% of the blood donated through the society is on voluntary basis. Despite the notable efforts of our country's blood banks, our country remains short of 2 million units of blood. I take this opportunity to call upon our young men and women to come forward in a big way to take part in the voluntary blood donation. Greater sensitization of our youth towards this important social service is absolutely necessary. Our efforts must be to ensure that not a single person in need of blood is left unanswered. Our demography is today characterized by a growing number of elderly people. We must ensure that those who have invested a lifetime in the growth of their families and the nation are not left alone without care. The home <coughs> health care attendant programs of these organizations aimed at training young people to take care of the elderly is a laudable initiative. I look forward to seeing many young people trained for this noble vocation. The enemy of youth and the wisdom from experience, the energy of the youth and the wisdom from experiences of the elderly will surely lead to mutual benefit for the care <coughs> provided and the care recipient. The doors of the Red Cross can open, <coughs> will bring a brighter future for all of us. I take this opportunity to compliment Sri Gulam Nabi Ajad, Dr. S. P. Agarwal, and all the office bearers of the Indian Red Cross Society and St. John Ambulance for working with unflinching dedication, absolute commitment, and through expertise. I wish the organization all success in their future endeavor. And I also wish you all success in the conduct of the annual general meeting. Once again, my congratulations to all the award winners. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.